Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Cap Filmmaker. In today's episode we'll be taking a look at that upside down effect from Stranger Things. Let's dive in. For this effect, you're going to need two pieces of footage. One of the room that you're going to turn into the upside down, and click the link in the description to download the vine texture. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's go. Okay, to start off with, we need our footage and our vine texture, which you can find a link in the description. So we're going to drag in our footage into a new composition. As you can see, we've got the footage going through the hallway. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the tracker panel and press track camera. Once you've entered there, go into the Advanced panel and select Detailed Analysis. Then just let After Effects do its thing. Once it's done, use the red target tool to select a point that matches up perfectly with your surface. Then right click and select Create Solid and Camera. Next, rotate and scale your solid so that it perfectly matches the size and position of your surface. Then right click on the solid and select Precompose. Be sure to select Leave All Attributes. Then duplicate this solid multiple times and cover each surface in your scene. Once you've done this, you should be left with basic geometry of your scene which you can use to add vines. Our next step is to pre-compose the solid and all of our geometry layers. Now we can start adding our vine texture to each one of the solids. Simply enter the pre-comp and add your vine texture. You may need to resize the layer. Simply right click, go to the transform menu and select fit to comp. Now go back to the main comp and lower the opacity of the vine layer to blend it better with the scene. We are now going to lower the brightness a bit in the scene to better match the look from the show. Add an adjustment layer, then simply add the curves effect and lower the brightness to your liking. Next, mask around any doors that you might have on the wall to blend it further with the real world. This works because the 3D layers will move in 3D space and thus the masks will move in 3D space as well. Now we are going to add the iconic spores slash dust that floats in the air in the upside down. Create a new solid and label it dust slash spores. Right click and pre-compose the layer. Then add the CC bubbles effect to the green solid. Make sure your solid is tinted white and change the shading type to fade outwards. Now you can change the settings in the bubbles to make them more like the dust in the upside down. It purely depends on a shop for shop basis, but it's completely up to you. I then drew a mask in the center of the solid so that they wouldn't be getting hard edges in the 3D layer. Next, go back into the main comp and make the dust a 3D layer. This will create parallax as the camera moves throughout the scene. Duplicate the dust as many times as you want and fill out the scene with your dust. Next, I use the curves effect to further capture the look of the upside down. And then, your effect should be completed. Let's have a look. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Leave a comment on what you think we should do next week. Leave a comment for what you want to see. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out one of our other videos? If you want to see more like this, why not subscribe? Thanks for watching.